This is Sam Schwinn with Revolution Machine Tools. I'm in the maintenance department and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to back up your Dell MDA 58T control. Let's get started. Okay, to get started backing up your control, we're going to start out in the manual screen here. So from your manual screen, you'll go into settings. And under your settings screen, you got backup and restore. Okay, so under back and restore, backup and restore, we have backup, restore, import, export. If you have multiple machines, this is really handy because you can program your programs and your tools into one machine and you can move those to any of your other machines. Uh, you also want to be doing this fairly often, especially as you're putting your programs and your tools into the control so that if something does happen to the control, you have a backup of it. Um, so we're going to go, you can back up just individual things, so products, tools, tables and settings, all, and uh, you got machine parameters. I'm just going to back up all, so we're going to select all. It shows you USB, you need to have a USB stick in the USB port right here. So you can select your USB. Nope. And select your USB. So now we're going to make a subdirectory. This is everything that's on your uh, USB stick. So we're going to make a subdirectory. I'm going to name it after this. Uh, so it's going to be the DA, DA58T. So DA. Okay, now we have our subdirectory. Now I'm going to make a subdirectory under that, and that's going to be uh, tools and programs. Okay, enter. That creates that subdirectory. And since I already selected all, all we hit here is select, and it's copying those to your thumb drive. So now to do machine parameters, it's essentially the same thing. So we go in here, select our USB, select our USB, let's select that. Let's make a subdirectory under that. And that one we're going to name parameters. So you need to, if you have multiple machines, you need to back these up individually so that, and then hit select, and that's backing up. So that each one of your machines has separate settings for its servo motors and for its hydraulic, hydraulic valves. So you, they're not completely interchangeable. You can, and you can use those as the base to work off of, but it's best to have uh, the starting point dialed in. So to restore your any of these, you can select individual ones. The individual ones, we can go into products, came up, you can go to restore directory. So we want to, we're under products, recovered. So we're going to select that and you reloaded them. If you want, you can just reload some of them. You can go to filter and in here, uh, I'm going to use some from a existing one I did so if I want to restore those ones we'll do that one and that one it says that they exist if they don't exist obviously not a big deal if you need to override them because they got messed up or what have you you can just go yes and it reloads them you can also go uh, reload all subdirectories found restore yes I'm just gonna go no for now none so back out of that, do the same thing with tools. Come in here, you can restore directory, tools, shows you tools. You can, if you want, you can select individual tools to restore or uh, you can go in and restore all under tools and programs. Sometimes it's, it might not come up with this because Instead, it's under parameters, and if it's under parameters, it's not going to find those. So you'll have to 
go and it'll it'll ask you to select it. So we're going to go back for a second and go under machine parameters. But it's going to tell me that they're not there because we're under the tools. So we need to go up and select our parameters. And then from there we can reload our parameters. So it's pretty easy to do. It's very important to back up, especially your uh, tools and programs, so that if anything does happen, you have those stored. We recommend, depending on how much information you're putting in, once a week to once a month. Um, obviously, if you haven't changed anything in a while, you don't have to, but uh, it's very important to back up your system. And that's how you do it. Hope you have a good day.